Well, howdy there, Moose fans. Lone Moose here. Today is December 2nd, so Merry Christmas to y'all. Uh, this is going to be another cooking video. Uh, I'm going to play with an idea I've been kicking around in my head for two or three months now. And that is making some stuffed poblano peppers. So, uh, what I'm going to basically do is take this list of ingredients that I'm about to show you right now. And then I'm going to uh, you know, combine them all, put them together, heat them on the stove, bake them in the oven, and see how it turns out. I have high hopes for this because I really do like poblanos. So, uh, you know, stick with me and let's see how this turns out. Okay, I've taken my four uh, decent sized poblano peppers, cut them more or less in half, and... Uh, remove the seeds and the veins. Now I'm going to bake them in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes to kind of help cook the peppers. And I'm going to put that in the oven. And then uh, get started uh, on creating my filling for it here. So stay tuned. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, let's start putting this thing together. While I'm doing this, I've got this uh, Royal uh, Cilantro Lime. Basically, I've got to heat this in the microwave for 90 seconds, so let me get that started. All right, next thing to go in is, this is a pound of shredded chicken with sauce, hatch green chili sauce. Got this at local HEB when hatch chilies are in season. This has been sitting in the freezer for a while, so... Ugh. Oh, good lord, get a knife. Okay, so what we're going to do, it's supposed to be microwave, but I'm doing this somewhat differently. Into the pot it goes, as soon as I get a spoon here. And next up, is the microwave rice. Some of the uh, local Mexican restaurants here in town serve a cilantro lime rice and it's really good. This says this is a cool touch zone. Get that in there. Yeah, that's good and hot. Just kind of stir that in right now. And of course you gotta make a mess doing it. But already smells really good. Alright. Then I'm going to use two-thirds of a cup of the sweet corn, a two thirds of a cup of brown beans. Again, these are kind of staples in Tex Mex cooking. And if this doesn't look like enough, I'll probably add some more. Because you don't want a whole lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm 
make it into a full cup. So give me another. Okay. So, cup of sweet corn. Do the same. Cup of the black beans, and that's about a cup. Boom. And this is probably going to be way more than what will be needed for those poblanos, but if it is, bet you this will make some really good quesadilla filling. All right, and into that, I'm going to add some of Mi Tienda uh, Mole Verde. It's a green sauce. We'll stick with about the two-thirds cup of that. And then once I stuff this into the peppers, then I'm going to cover it with a uh, Mexican cheese blend, four cheese blend, whatever you want to call it. Put it back in the oven to brown the cheese. And then see how dinner goes. So right now I'm just going to put this back on the burner on low and let it kind of cook all in together. And I'll see you back when the peppers are done. Okay, the peppers have been in the oven for 30 minutes. Oh, they're nice and ready to get stuffed. And the stuffing mixture is ready to go. So let me get these things stuffed up. Now these aren't going to look like traditional stuffed peppers, so don't even think that for a minute. They're kind of more going to look like uh, stuffed canoes. Stuff Poblano canoes. How about that? Maybe we'll start a whole new trend in Tex-Mex uh, cuisine. Poblano uh, canoes. Because a Poblano is not like a, a bell pepper, which is, you know, nice and big and round and all that good stuff. So it's never going to stuff and look like that. Yeah, I was thinking maybe, uh, you know, some of this stuff left over, like I said, be great in quesadillas, but it might also be good in breakfast tacos. Idea for morning. And tomorrow is bacon smoking day. So I'll be smoking up that bacon that I've been working on and, you know, finish up that video. So there'll be some cooking and food type videos coming out here pretty quick. They're going to hit you like boom, boom, boom almost every day for a while until I get caught up. To do, trying to shape it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be good. Yeah, Ganja's looking for more dinner. He didn't get enough. Well, it's going to take most of it. That's kind of surprising, but you know, I'm piling it up pretty high. All right. Well, let's just try and clean it up a little bit. 
hold on dog you gotta wait till I finish this got a dog scratching at the door I just have to scratch for a minute or two or three now another thing I want to do with this is I'm going to spoon a little bit of pico on here maybe on half of them and then not on the other half just to see and also so I'll have some pico left for breakfast because I don't want to go back to the store today that going to the store was an absolute zoo I got so mad at Costco Costco only has one actual cashier working on Saturdays. Waited in line 35 minutes to check out. 35 cotton picking minutes. Okay, so I, I have my Pico on these three. I'll make it four. I'll do it uh, this one. Yeah, I'll do it half and half. Half with and half without, and then I still got enough for my scrambled eggs in the morning. Unless I decide to do breakfast tacos, at which time I'll still need the pico. In case you didn't figure it out, I like pico. Pico is good stuff. Okay, now let me get some cheese on here. Ugh. And I've got a challenge here for one of my viewers, who also happens to be a co-worker, so you know who you are. You know, you said you were going to try the uh, breakfast thing that I did a few weeks back. I never heard from you whether you did or not. So if you decide you want to try this, let me know how it turns out. You know, she and her son just got a new house, so... You know, what better way to start off than with a new dish? From a crazy, crazy old man. Yeah, it's going to be messy when I get to this point. But there's not much I can do about that. Like I said, these are kind of canoes rather than actual, you know, what, what you typically think of as a stuffed pepper. Now, if I had done the poblanos whole, that would have been different, but then it's kind of hard to get them to stand up. Because they don't have a flat bottom like a bell pepper. Uh, There we go. So now back in the oven for about 10 minutes or so. And uh, get the cheese all good and melty. Okay folks, there they are. This one, this one, this one, and this one have the Pico. These don't. Uh, it ended up being about eight and a half minutes in the oven. Uh, two and a half minutes of that was on broil just to help with the cheese a little bit. So I'm going to plate this up, and I will see you back at my computer desk slash dining table uh, and do a little taste test and see how this, this came over, came off. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, folks, the uh, experiment of Steph Poblanos is finished. It's ready for the taste test. What do y'all think? Gonna be thumbs up, thumbs down, or 
eh. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think while I have the first taste. This is really good. Really, really good. Uh, next time I will probably not cook the poblanos for a full 30 minutes, maybe 20, so they're a little more crunchy. But uh, flavor, the mixture of the flavors, the cheese and everything is good. It's not too hot with everything that I put in it. Because the poblanos are not a very hot pepper. The, uh, you know, the hatch I think was a mild the hatch chicken mix uh, and the uh, mole was mild. So, you know, I don't like real hot stuff, but man, this was good. You won't have to suffer through another bite. Mm -hmm. Dang, another experiment, another two thumbs up success. Oh, hope you all enjoyed this. If you do try it, uh, let me comments below how you, what you thought of it. But uh, you know, if you can't get the HEB hatch seasoned chicken, basically, you know, fry up some chicken or boil up some chicken and add a uh, small can of the hatch green chilies and you'll get the same basic effect. The cilantro lime rice is really, really good. So. You know, and you can get the black beans and the corn anywhere. Uh, the mole, well, you may or may not get that. You know, if you can't get some salsa verde, do the same thing. But man, this is good. All right, this is Lone Moose out for now. I hope everybody uh, is enjoying early December. And I will see y'all when I make my next video. It's time to finish my dinner. Y'all stay safe.